what's going on YouTube today we're gonna be doing a high uh, taper tutorial I'm gonna be showing you guys my steps on how I, I achieve this look uh, the first thing I do is I start off by wetting my clients hair make sure to get it really damp that way we can come in with our shears and I'm gonna give them a messy top nothing too crazy just a little bit of texture on top right here what I'm doing is I'm I'm doing a part it's called the horseshoe part or something like that I learned this from a barber out of El Paso, Texas. Name's MRK. I took one of his classes, and this what this allows me to do is blend everything nicely into the bulk when I come back with my my shears. So right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull out all of the hair, and you're gonna just trim it all around his head. I, honestly, I don't know too much about the angles and all that, but just go ahead and pull out what you can and cut out the excess hair. As you can see, I'm just pulling it out and just trimming it up. This is how I always do my when I when I do like messy tops. I always do this technique. And right here, what I'm doing, I'm just point cutting hit the top of his hair. Just gonna give it some a little bit of more texture. Honestly, I know you can't see it, but I just got this camera, and uh, as time goes on, these videos will get better and will improve. So just bear with me. right here what i do is i just come in with my thinning shirt these are the barber nova thinning shirts they sent me these as a care package and honestly i, I really like them they the thinning shirts are really dope they, they they cut off the weight pretty easy and really compatible with any type of hair if you want to make a purchase on the shears go ahead and go to their website at bar barbernova.com and put in my discount code at uh, noel10 and it'll give you 10 percent off Right here, what I'm doing is I come in with my my blow dryer and I just blow dry it so I can see or blow dry it to the way it's supposed to be, just so I can see everything and give it a, a nice matte look. Also, I put on some hair, I put some hair serum on before this, so I can protect the hair from damaging. And also, right here, what I do after I'm done blow drying, I add a texture powder, just so I can give it a desired look or the desired look I'm going for, which is like a dry matte look. So the first thing I do is I start with my, when I debulk anything, I always go with my Austers. If I'm going to keep a tight blend, I always debulk with the Austers. These are the Octanes. They're kind of pricey, but they're definitely worth it. But this is number two blade detachable, and I'm just going to go all around his head, all the way to the where we pulled out the hair. That way we can connect it with our thinning shears right, right now after this. When using these detachable blades, make sure you keep the blade flat because um, you can nick somebody if you if you go in pretty rough with it. Just keep it flat and let it do its work. Let the machine do its work. Just glide it through. So right here what we're doing is we're getting our thinning shares and our barber noble comb and we're just going to connect the bottom the number two to the top i usually do i guess you can do clipper over comb but i usually do shears or like on something like this because it'll it leaves a nicer blend into the bulk uh using the the clipper over comb technique it, it leaves more like a boxy look but using the shears will will take that take that um, boxy look out and give it more of a, a smooth blend now keep in mind when you do use uh, your your clip over comb it, it will be a faster cut so if you need to go faster but I usually take about 40 to an hour on each haircut so it just really depends on what you're going for what type of if you're trying to go fast or whatever so right here what I do is I grab my my Oster octanes this is the 5 volt blade on it 
I created my first guideline. You can use any other type of trimmer or clipper, whatever, to make your guideline. This is just what I use. So after I do that, I, I go in with my my shavers. These are the gammas. They are pretty dope. These these uh, shavers. They're a little loud, but other than that, they're pretty dope. And um, what I do is I take it all the way to the line, just with light pressure. Don't don't press too hard because you will leave a harsh line, and it'll be harder to take out when you when you're doing the blend. So right here I got my number one guard lever fully closed and we're going to create about an inch guideline. I usually do about an inch on all my fades or all my tapers and everything. Keep in mind this is going to be your foundation of your fade so if you want a longer blend you're going to make this guideline a lot bigger. If not, if you want a compressed blend then you're going to make it smaller. But just make sure this, this guideline is nice and even and down to the number one guard. After that we come in with our half guard and we're going to do the same exact thing we did with the number one. Literally the same thing you did with it. Just copy what you did with the number one guard. Don't make it harder on your guys yourselves. You're basically just softening down this line you made with the number one guard. Lever still closed on this half guard. So now you come in with your lever guard or your no guard lever fully closed and you're just going to attack that bottom line. I usually just open it about a quarter, a quarter just one little notch if I have to and it, it comes right off. With this technique it should come right off. If you have to open it some more go ahead don't be afraid. So now just to take off the rest of the little line, I'm, I wasn't too satisfied with the bottom so um, I come back with my trimmers. These are the baby list trimmers and there's zero gap then it, this line will just come right off to the rest of it. The rest of the line that the clipper didn't get, these, these will take that out. Any trimmer will work also as long as it's zero gap. Okay, once we, we take out that line, we're going to come in with our one and a half guard lever fully closed and we're going to create about another inch guideline. Since we did use the number two on the side of the detachables, it will be a little bit, kind uh, a little hard to see, but if you play, if you pay close attention, you'll be able to tell like where, where you're setting in your guideline. It, it ain't too, it ain't too hard. Now what you do is you're going to fade down with your number one guard lever fully open and you're just going to do the same thing you did with your one and a half, literally. You're going to take take it on the same spot and you're just going to start fading down. Right here we're going to close it halfway and then we're going to go a little bit more under that. We're basically just taking out the dark spots. Now we got the lever fully closed and we're just going to attack that metal ghost line. It might not take it out completely, in some cases it will, but since he has thick hair, it's not going to. And don't even worry about it, just let it be. We're going to come in with our half guard on the next step. So now we come in with our half guard, lever fully closed, and we're going to take out the rest of that guideline. It'll Be careful with this one, just make sure you use your corners because this is... You don't need too much pressure on this to take, to take out that guideline, and if you take it up too high, it will push up the fade. But this is going to bring um, the blend together. our number two guard lever I, I open it and I close it a quarter and we're just gonna go straight up you're not really setting in a guideline right here you're just going straight up so you can take uh, connect it to the bolt now I come back with my one and a half guard lever fully open and I close it about a quarter and come right underneath that go ahead and add a little bit of hairspray just to lock in my hairs when I do my edge up and I kind of messed up right here I wasn't supposed to line up his bangs he wanted a messy but I mean it still came out pretty dope overall I do use enhancements on my haircuts um, I am a fan of enhancements a lot of people aim but 
I think they're pretty dope, but my clients like it, so I'm, I just keep doing it. And if y'all like it, go ahead and use them, man. Don't don't let nobody else tell you guys what, what you guys can do. If, if your client likes it and it makes you some extra money, go ahead. Right here, I add that white barber pencil and just, just to add a little bit more pop. This gives me that Instagram picture look all the time, so that's why I like these dope enhancements. Uh, the enhancements I'm using, it's uh, Slay Sauce. Y'all can get them at Slay Apparel Line. Uh, and that's their Instagram. And right here, what I'm doing is... I start off with my my osters again and I just set my guideline pretty pretty high just so I like my my tapers and everything to have a lot of baldness too that's what makes them pop out pretty good and I usually bring it up on the corners a little bit higher than the middle it, it's kind of like instead of bringing it down I take it up just a little bit because I think it adds more of a tapered look I used to do them like curved and yeah it's cool i mean i don't have nothing against that i really like that too but i just like the way this comes out better after that we just come in with our shavers and we're going to take it all the way to the top again so now we come in with our number one guard lever fully closed and we're going to do the same thing you guys can make the guideline bigger on the back if you guys like it's really up to y'all at least an inch at least always make your guideline this one at least an inch an inch and a half at most but make sure it's all the way down to to the number one guard go go in a couple times just to make sure don't be afraid so now we come back with our half guard lever fully closed and literally when i tell you guys do the same exact thing do not stress it just copy what you did with the number one right on it but instead with the half guard lever fully closed What this does it, it makes it easier to take out that bottom line and it looks more smoother like because before that i would open the lever and all that but i feel like it was more work but i mean this this right here is gonna allow you to just take it out like very easily and like i said you can open it about a quarter and that's all you're gonna have to do you won't have to really play with it too crazy You see right here, I just have it closed and then I open it about a quarter and just take it up and flick out. So if your clipper does not take it out completely, don't stress it. You always come in with your shaver, or not your shavers, your trimmers, your zero gap trimmers. Any trimmer will work and just flick it, flick the rest of it out. It'll come right out. So next what you do is you come right after that you come with your one and a half guard lever fully closed again and you're gonna make about another inch guideline just make another inch guideline on top and that's all you got to do right now right after that you come in with your uh, one guard lever fully open and you're gonna copy the same thing you did with the one and a half right on it literally again so right here is where we're going to start sandwiching the blend. We're just going to start um, bring, basically fading down. And right here we close it halfway and then you're going to come a little bit more under that. The thing about this technique, I do it with all my haircuts. It works with any type of haircut, every style. Once you this this technique really uh, helped me break down the hair on how to manage it and then you fully close it you fully close the lever right here and you're just tacking that middle ghost line keep in mind this ain't gonna take it out completely but it's gonna it's getting it ready for the next our next step right here right after that we're gonna get our half guard lever fully closed and just use our corners and you're just gonna flick out that line 
it should come out uh, on its own basically just let the clipper do the work right here you're gonna you'll be able to see how it just comes out by just using your corners and gliding it and flicking it just pay, pay close attention you'll be able to see it it just connects it brings the whole blend together and then we got our number two guard lever fully open and then closed about a quarter right here i slowed it down for you guys so you guys can see that we're not really creating a, a guideline we're just bringing it up we're just going straight up with it so now we get our one and a half guard right after that and lever fully open and we close our about a quarter and we just go straight up again right underneath it basically and it slowed down for you guys again so you guys can see the way the way it's supposed to be done <laughs> that's our blend that's my blending technique right there right here we're just gonna hit it we're just gonna hit the the side lineup on the back and you'll be good to go don't be afraid to pull down his ear and I know a lot of times uh, some of my clients their ears are like really hard and I feel like I'm hurting them but you're not really hurting them just don't be afraid to pull down their ears and line them up so now that you guys seen there or the way I do my high tapers this side's gonna be obviously the same thing, so I'm gonna just fast forward it for you guys. So this is how my client came in before and this is the final product the final result if you guys like this technique uh, leave a comment or if I if you guys have any questions DM me on Instagram at Noel blends you guys can give me a follow any of these products or anything I use in here you guys can find them in the bottom uh, I'll leave a link to to the, to the items and I will be posting weekly so Stay tuned for next week uh, tutorial and let me know what you guys want to see. Peace.